Let's take a look at a titration problem using EDTA. In this case, we're going to be determining the chromium in wastewater. Pause the video, and when you're ready to go on, we'll discuss this problem. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Chromium-6 is very toxic, and one often reduces it to chromium-3, which is much less toxic to deal with. Chromium-3, though, reacts notoriously slowly, and it doesn't form complexes well unless we do something to speed it up, and that's why there's some extra heating steps involved here. So there's actually two different titration steps involved here. We take the chromium in the plus 3 state, and we add EDTA from a pipette in hopes that we've got an excess of EDTA. So chromium forms EDTA complex and we have leftover excess EDTA. So the first titration, actually known as a back titration, we are titrating the excess EDTA with zinc in the plus 2 state to get a 1 to 1 zinc EDTA complex. And that helps us to determine the excess moles of EDTA, the difference between that and the original moles of EDTA, tells us how much complex with the chromium. But we need a second titration because we need to know the zinc concentration. So we take an fresh aliquot of EDTA gives us a known number of moles to titrate against the zinc to essentially standardize the zinc concentration. So let's run the numbers. We we'll need to start with the second titration or the standardization titration since we need to know the zinc concentration to do the back titration. So there's 29.33 milliliters of zinc titrated against 25 milliliters of EDTA, of which there's a concentration of 2 times 10 to the minus third. So for the standardization titration, we have moles of EDTA gives us the moles of zinc. So the moles of EDTA is 25 times 10 to the minus 3 liters times a concentration of 2.071 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. That's equal to 5.177. And the next digit is a 5 times 10 to the minus five moles. So the concentration of the zinc solution is that number divided by the volume used in the titration. 29.33 times 10 to the minus 3 liters. So that gives us a concentration of 1.765, the next digit's a zero, times 10 to the minus 3 molar. So let's look at the back titration. In that, the number of moles of zinc that was used is equal to the number of moles of excess EDTA after the reaction with the chromium. So that number is 1.765 times 10 to the minus 3 molar for the zinc times 29.19 times 10 to the minus 3 liters or 5.1 five, two, 
0 times 10 to the minus 5 moles of zinc. The number of moles of chromium is equal to the difference between the total EDTA that was pipetted into that solution minus the excess EDTA that we found in the back titration. So we need to calculate the total EDTA. And we look to see what the volume of EDTA was for that particular titration. That was 30 milliliters. times the concentration 2.071 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. It gives us a total of 6.213, the next digit is 0, times 10 to the minus 5 moles total. So the moles of chromium in this sample must have been the difference between those two numbers, 6.2130 times 10 to the minus 5, minus 5.152 times 10 to the minus 5, or 1.061 times 10 to the minus 5 moles. From that, we can calculate the concentration of chromium that must have been present in the original sample by dividing that number of moles by the volume that the sample was contained in. And that's the 6 milliliter pipette of the original sample. This gives us a final value of 1.768 times 10 to the minus 3 molar chromium.